very good evening everyone um i welcome you all i am john marshall jm john marshall of saint mary magdalene and i am a third order carmelite with a private vow of celibacy and i am taking care of this uh, carmelite extinct ruins of the carmelite monastery in the name of the carmelite fathers in margao so today uh, we are going to see this uh, a normal prayer service uh, it's a evening prayer service that we are going to do uh, please join for the prayers and like you know receive the blessings of the lord and please pray along with me this uh, usually after like you know, after 4 5 uh five o'clock this place gets too much dark and uh, we will not be able to conduct any prayers over here you can see that it is a still a forest kind of land so at this time we are going to pray the evening prayers of the church uh please uh, join with us with me and like you know receive the prayers and with us is also correct because we are surrounded by countless uh, countless number of um witnesses who are here blessed dennis and redemptus who lived in this monastery martyrs and many other fathers and the brothers who are very holy who lived over here so let us keep remember them all in our prayers let us keep them and to begin this evening prayer let's begin o god come to our aid o lord make haste to help us glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen hallelujah we'll sing a hymn now it's a season of easter it's a season of joy we are going to sing a hymn hallelujah 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 the strife is over battle gone hallelujah now is the victor's triumph born hallelujah oh let the song of praise be sung hallelujah 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 on the third morn he rose again Hallelujah glorious in majesty to reign hallelujah oh let us well the joyful strain hallelujah 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 oh risen lord all praise to thee <coughs> hallelujah who from our sins has set us free hallelujah that we may live eternally hallelujah 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 now you are going to chant some psalms this psalm is taken from psalm 144 it is a psalm prayer for victory and peace so lord is the god of peace may the lord god of peace who gave an wonderful peace of recollection to all the fathers and the brothers who lived here 300 to 400 years back may the good lord also provide them peace of mind as we sing uh, this uh, psalm blessed be the lord my rock who trains my arms for battle who prepares my hands for war He is my love my fortress he is my stronghold my savior my shield my place of refuge he brings peoples under my rule lord what is man that you care for him mortal man that you keep him in mind man who is merely a breath whose life fades like a shadow lower your heavens and come down touch the mountains spread them in smoke flash your lightnings round the foe shoot your arrows and put them to flight reach down from heaven and save me draw me out from the mighty waters from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies whose hands are raised in perjury glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the antiphon lord is my stronghold and my savior alleluia the second antiphon Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah To you O God will I sing a new song 
I will play on the ten string harp to you who give kings their victory who said david your servant free you said him free from the evil sword you rescued him from alien foes whose mouths were filled with lies whose hands were raised in perjury let our sons then flourish like saplings grown tall and strong from their youth our daughters graceful as columns are don't us through for a palace let our bonds be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind our sheep increasing by thousands myriads of sheep in our fields our cattle heavy with young no ruined wall no exile no sound of weeping in our streets happy the people with such blessings happy the people whose god is the lord glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen we are saying a psalm prayer now lord god of strength you gave your son victory over death direct your church's fight against evil in the world clothe us with the weapons of light and unite us under the one banner of love that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of eternal life dear friends at this wonderful moment we pray to lord god that he will provide victory especially in this fight uh this place this monastery which was built by the carmelites has got ruins because of the many forces either by human or by nature may it be rescued from the hands of the enemies and be made for the glory of god our father with keeping in this mind we proceed to the next psalm and if one thanks be to god who has given us the victory through our lord jesus christ hallelujah the third and if one Christ yesterday and today he is the same forever alleluia a canticle from revelation it speaks about the judgment of god often we are perplexed in our lives our enemies who did unrighteous things they are flourishing but we who tried everything as much as possible to keep righteousness to walk in the path of truth we are suffering what is this contradiction but we should wait for the lord the lord set his eyes on the people those who wait for him so keeping in this mind we are going to sing this canticle we praise you the lord god almighty who is and who was you have assumed your great power you have begun your reign the nations are raged in anger but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead the time to reward your servants the prophets and the holy ones who revere you the great and the small alike now we have salvation and power to come the reign of our god and the authority of his anointed one for the accuser of our brothers is cast out who night and day accused them before god they defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony love for life did not defer them from death so rejoice you heavens and all you that dwell therein glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen christ is today and today he is the same forever hallelujah 
now we are going for a small scripture reading it is taken from first peter the reason why christ died for our sins once for all the just man for the sake of the unjust was that he might lead you to god he was put to death in so far as fleshly existence goes but was given life in the spirit he went to heaven and is at god's right hand with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him our response the disciples rejoiced alleluia alleluia the disciples rejoiced alleluia alleluia when they saw the risen lord the disciples rejoiced alleluia alleluia glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit the disciples rejoiced alleluia alleluia so now we are going to give a small reflection on the God, on the reading that we have seen see christ died for our sins so that we be saved that we be restored that he was put to death in so far as fleshly existence goes but he was given life in the spirit so here like you know jesus died for whose sake for our sake obeying the will of god the same way we are also called to undergo martyrdom every day that is what the lord wants from us what sort of martyrdom martyrdom means like you know you are cut into pieces for the sake of god you are pouring blood for the sake of god that is one type of martyrdom that is we call as red martyrdom but there is another one type of martyrdom what is known as white martyrdom white martyrdom is where you subjugate your will you deny your will that is we call as saint john of cross call as self denial you are taking the cross of self denial for the sake of god all your life it could it could come in many ways maybe there are persons with difficult temperaments you need to deal with that is a cross maybe you are having suffering from some diseases that is a the, that is a type of cross maybe you are having a lot of temperamental issues or you are overweight by many things in your life that is again your cross but in all those things we should remember the jesus christ our crucified lord who was put to death in so far as such this fleshly existence goes as long as we are living in the world we will have tribulations jesus himself said my children as long as you are living in the world you will have you will have sufferings and tribulations but once you are coming to heaven there will be nothing i am going to the ascending to the father and i am preparing mansions for you the lord said before ascending the same way is here in this reading what we are seeing is that he went to heaven and is at the god's right hand with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him the same way after your death when you have obeyed all god's will all your life you have obeyed your god's will you will be rewarded heaven and there you will go and reign with the saints forever and ever so here in this monastery there lived blessed dennis and redemptus who uh, literally shed their blood for the sake of god the christ in the island of sumatra uh, he was martyred in the year 1638 so he has given his life the same way other the other fathers who lived over here they were very holy they in their one of the tombstone about these fathers what we find it is mentioned that their bodies were macerated by prayers and penances macerated you can see the potato getting macerated or uh, you can see how it get macerated so that is the type of death self death self denial what saint john of cross and saint teresa of avila had preached these fathers of the old this carmel had lived may by god through his help also grant us that grace to live a life of self denial for the sake of god amen now we are going to glorify god along with mother mary the gospel canticle I am the shepherd of my sheep I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly alleluia My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord my spirit rejoices in God my savior 
for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant from this day all generations will call me blessed the almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name he has mercy on those who fear him in every generation he has shown the strength of his arm he has scattered the proud in the conceit he has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich has sent away empty he has come to the help of his servant israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers to abraham and his children forever Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen I am the shepherd of my sheep I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly alleluia Now we are going to the intercession section here we will pray for many people especially i ask you to pray for father jason today he is ordained in margao he is a new priest to the camlite order we are so much happy for that gift of god please keep father jason in your kind prayers now let us go to the intercessions our response is king of glory hear our prayer king of glory hear our prayer the father has established in christ the foundation of all our hope and the principle of our resurrection Let us rejoice in Christ and cry out to him saying king of glory hear our prayer Lord Jesus through your resurrection you entered the sanctuary of heaven to offer the blood of your own sacrifice lead us with you into the glory of the father king of glory hear our prayer through your resurrection you confirmed the faith of your disciples and sent them out into the world make all bishops and priests faithful preachers of the gospel especially we pray for our bishop bishop of uh, our archbishop of goa archdiocese of goa do uh, and daman um, his patriarch his grace uh, eminent philip neri farao we pray king of glory hear our prayer through your resurrection you became our peace and reconciliation unite the baptized in perfect communion of faith and love king of glory hear our prayer through your resurrection the crippled man was healed at the gate of the temple look on the sick and reveal in them the power of your glory king of glory hear our prayer you became the first born from the dead the first fruits of the resurrection grant to the dead who hoped in you a share in your glory king of glory hear our prayer we at this special moment we pray for father jason who has been recently ordained today we especially ask all the fathers and the brothers who lived over here in this old goa carmelite monastery especially for uh, blessed dennis and redemptus and all the all the other holy fathers that through their intercession this newly ordained father jason may be strengthened in his vocation to serve for god more zealously like our father prophet elijah for this uh, special intention we pray king of glory hear our prayer so gathering all our intercessions gathering all our prayers gathering all our petitions with the aid of blessed dennis and redemptus and all the fathers saintly fathers who lived over here along with their saintly company and along with saint francis xavier the patron of goa goa society we pray Pater noster qui es in celis sanctificetur nomen tuum adveniat regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua sicut in celo et in terra panem nostram quotidianam da nobis hodie et dimite nobis debita nostra Sicut et nos dimittibus debitoribus nostris et ne nos inducas in tentationem sed libera nos malo
let us say the concluding prayer now father in restoring human nature you have given us a greater dignity than than we had in the beginning keep us in your love and continue to sustain those who have received new life in baptism we ask this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of god the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen may the almighty god bless us and bring us everlasting peace amen thanks be to god and uh, may god bless you may saint francis xavier be with you and blessed dennis and redam to some martyr the martyr saints of this place may they bless you and all the saints over here bless you may saint catherine of alexandria the patroness of old goa the protectress of old goa uh, be with you always may god bless you have a blessed evening ahead and a prayerful and peaceful uh, sleep at night may god bless you all see you tomorrow and uh, another one important announcement is that i have also i will also put that announcement in the facebook that uh, on the 15th at this the same prayer session what we are having around from 3 o'clock it will be a special healing prayer session so during that time the healing prayer as as prescribed by the ucssb will be uh, like you know prayed over here uh, in the like invoking the special intercession of blessed dennis and redemptus and all the other uh, uh, saints carmelite saints who lived over here uh so uh, if you have got any sick people nearby any person in distress everyone you can put in the comments or you can even pri privately message me uh, so that for them especially by taking their name we will pray for them during this uh, prayer service may god bless you all have a blessed evening and a safe night amen